NFTs are gaining notoriety now because they are becoming an increasingly popular way to buy and sell digital artwork. They are designed to give you something that can't be copied, non-fungible, more or less means that it's unique. So why are people willing to spend millions on something they could easily screenshot or download? Because an NFT allows the buyer to own the original item. Blockchain technology and NFTs afford artists and content creators a unique opportunity to monetize their wares. And the Ethereum blockchain became the base of using the tech to sell digital art. However, Ethereum blockchain can't satisfy the demand due to congestion by DeFi communities where gas fees were becoming unbearable. Dapper Labs, one of the developer group which faced several challenges on the network, they created Cryptocities, was a kind of game that allows players to buy, breed, and trade animated cats dubbed as NFT kitties. Rather than simply find another home for their decentralized app or wait for Ethereum scaling solutions to mature, Dapper decided to build the special blockchain that it and other developers could work on. Welcome to the Flow ecosystem, I'm Tony from KK Technologies. Let's discover the blockchain for open worlds together. Flow is a new blockchain built for the next generation of apps, games, and the digital assets that power them. It supports digital collectibles and blockchain-driven games. Flow created for extensive scaling without the use of sharding techniques, providing fast and low-cost transactions that make sense for dApps, such as NFT marketplaces and crypto-infused video games. Let's have a look at how this novel design works. Today's traditional blockchain networks have a massive workload on each node. Every node has to store the complete state of the ledger alongside carrying out all tasks related to the processing of all transactions in the chain. Or their scaling solutions typically focus on offloading transactions from the main chain to reduce the load on the main network. To avoid some drawbacks of sharding and other techniques that rely on distribution of transaction data across multiple chains, Flow divides its network nodes into four distinct categories. Each node in the Flow network participates in the validation and processing of every transaction, but only specializes in performing a single function. Here is the four node types which forms Flow's multi-role node architecture. Collection nodes enhance network connectivity and data availability for dApps. It helps dApps easily retrieve relevant data. Consensus nodes decide the presence and order of transactions. Execution nodes These nodes perform the computations associated with each transaction. Verification nodes double-check the work done by the execution nodes. These are responsible for keeping execution nodes in check. Distributing the tasks makes processing transactions more efficient than on traditional blockchains. It's an alternative option to sharding or spreading out the storage and computational needs of a blockchain across numerous nodes. Developer tools. Smart contracts on the Flow blockchain are written in Flow's native language, Cadence. Cadence is a resource-oriented programming language that introduces new features to smart contract programming that help developers ensure that their code is safe, secure, clear, and approachable. The Flow team has created a website as a learning tool for developers who have never built blockchain applications to familiarize themselves with Cadence. Smart contracts cannot be changed once they have been deployed in traditional DAP platforms. This immutability of the smart contract code is intentional, as it ensures that the contracts cannot be manipulated post-launch, even by their original programmer. Nonetheless, developers do not have the ability to make changes or fixes to the code when it is necessary. To overcome this problem, the Flow blockchain allows smart contracts to be deployed on the network and beta state. Thus, contracts can be changed and improved. Once the developers are certain that their contracts work as intended, they can release their control over the contracts, making them immutable. To sum up, Dapper Labs didn't sit around and wait for Ethereum to scale to solve the problem CryptoKitties ignited. Instead, they created its own blockchain designed for the technology it wanted to create and attract developers to help form an ecosystem around it. Also Flow Token has shown significant growth since its initial offering, and it made it a popular token for investment. The community power of Flow is somewhere amazing relative to other coins. This might be a bonus point for the future growth of Flow. Cryptocurrencies are also highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about Flow? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button 